Question number five. Calculate the change in enthalpy of the reaction for the combustion of methane. Use the following reactions and give given changes in enthalpies. Okay, so here are the three reactions they gave you. I haven't changed them at all, just wrote them down on the board. And here are the changes in enthalpy for these three reactions. And they want you to find the change in enthalpy for the combustion of methane, the reaction for which they did not give you. Now when you see a problem like this, you're going to want to add up these reactions, not necessarily the way they are, but you're going to want to add them up in some way to create an overall reaction. And then once you do that, you can add up the enthalpies on the side and get the enthalpy for the overall reaction. So it so happens that the reaction that they want is the combustion of methane. Now methane, as you may know, is CH4 gas. And when you write a combustion equation for something, you react it with molecular gaseous oxygen and you form CO2 gas plus liquid water vapor. So there's the reaction. We want to balance it real quick. So we have one carbon on each side already. We have four hydrogens over here, but only two hydrogens over here. So we can put a two here. Um, and now we have two oxygens and two oxygens, so four oxygens. So we need to, to double this. But uh, I think that should be balanced. Looks good. Okay, so now we have to rearrange these equations so that they add up to this. Now you'll notice that we need, we need uh, a methane on the left, first of all, and currently it's on the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this equation. So I'm going to make it run the other way. So now it's going to be CH4 gas plus O2 gas forms CH2O gas plus H2O gas. Okay, so now what that does is it puts the methane on this side and it already has the correct number, one and one. Now what it also does is it puts this CH2O and this CH2O on opposite sides of the equation. So we can actually cancel these out because there's one of each. And that's exactly what we want to do because there is no CH2O in this bottom equation. So that helps us out quite a bit. But um, the other thing you got to remember is since I reversed the reaction, the change in enthalpy also gets reversed. So this is now negative. So what else do we need to do? We have a methane on this side, and we need two oxygens. Well, we also have that. We have one oxygen here and one oxygen here. They don't cancel out because they're on the same side of the arrows. And they add up. So, and for that same reason, they add up here. So those, these things are good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Um, we need one carbon dioxide here. We already have it. Now, we need two liquid waters on this side, but we only have two, um, we actually have three gaseous waters. So what we can do, and we need liquid water on this side, so what we can also do is reverse this top equation. We'll make this side liquid and this side gaseous. So note that this will get reversed. Now it's negative as well. Now currently, um, if we left this the way it is, this gas is going to cancel out this gas, but not this gas. So if we double the whole reaction, 2 and 2, remember you have to double both sides. Now both of these gases are going to cancel out with this water gas. So water gas cancels, two water gases over here, which is perfect because we needed two liquid waters on this side to add up to this. But remember, since we doubled the reaction, we have to double this over here.
Um, okay, so now check it out. We have gaseous methane plus two gaseous oxygens forms one gaseous carbon dioxide plus two liquid waters. So that's what we need. Now we can just add up the changes in enthalpies. So negative 88 plus negative 284 plus negative 527 adds up to negative 899 kilojoules, which is answer choice C on your test.